Good morning, everybody. How are you today? <laughs> Hi there. I know it's been a while since I've streamed, but, you know, things happen, things are things, things go on. And at least at the time, at, you know, this time, uh, September 18th, 2021, I mean, I've got, you know, virtually no viewers, you know, that come in the stream. Every once in a while, I'll get somebody, like maybe a couple. I think the most I've ever had at one time is three, so. But anyways, it sounds like Mary's on her way back, and that's who we're waiting on. Before we Hello. Get this party started. There's Mary. <laughs> How are you? I'm a little breathless. Ah. Coming back up the stairs. Well. Ah, goodness. <laughs> Well, as you can see, we're going. Uh, we're playing kitty cats again. So, I am cause... loading up the yep. scrolls. So I'm going to go ahead and get to the actual game page. Get this party started. I'm also munching. I needed food. I can understand that. I didn't. I don't have anything that I can fix quickly. Well, not that I would want to try to eat on stream. I mean, I could fix some waffles, but yeah, I don't want to do that on try to eat waffles on stream. <laughs> Those are a little bit too messy for that kind of stuff. <clears throat> but I mean, I don't I don't have any any burritos or corn dogs or anything like that, so I'll fix I'll eat something after stream. Grated cheese with onion mixed with salad cream. That sounds weird. But I'm not here to judge. Who am I kidding? <laughs> popular sandwich filling over here I'm just having without bread. Ah. Uh, okay. Wish I knew that stuff. Oh, that's a Ah, uh, I want to go snoop at the store real fast, see if anything new and exciting has reared its ugly head. Yeah, I'm, right now I'm saving uh, my crowns to get the uh, Waking Flame Collector's Bundle. Uh-huh. Because that's got that... You know what to pick up my ink, the liar. Squeeze me? My ink. Your ink? My ink, the liar. Oh, 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 oh. Right, 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 right. Gotcha. So have you made it into the game yet? Yep. I'm wondering where you are. Um, I'm at the lay the inside Lewin Way Shrine. I see you. You do. Yep. Like my pet. That's cool. I bought him yesterday, day before. A couple days ago? Forget what he's called. Give me a second. I'll tell you. Because he's new. Uh, Mind Shriven Scamp. And then I also got this. I was thinking of, of that. But I couldn't really see it on the... Uh, Page. Well. Uh -huh. well, yeah. Have a gander. It's kind of an undead horse. I think it's a. Yeah, I think it's undead. It's yeah. Oh, my headset's oh. blinking in and out, so it may cut off. We'll see. I still got to figure out how the hell to get into my router. Because I can't do it anymore. It won't let me. 
I mean, I do what it tells you to do. Put the, uh, put, you know, find your IP address. Put it, in, like, up in the uh, browser bar or in the search bar. You know, you know, like Google search and... I've never put it in the search bar. Well, I've done both. To try to see if I can get, get it to work. And um, I, it takes me to a certain page but there's nothing to put in my the name or password of my router i mean i've tried numerous times like i said i put the my ip address up in the browser bar and in the in the search bar i even tried well let's just see just if i can sneak my way around and i tried typing in you know changing my router's name because i've done that and it's the same page and everything and i, I can't get in so, until I can get into my router, this headset is going to keep cutting out on me. Until I can get in there and fix and uh, tell it to stop, you know, to just <laughs> pick a stronger signal and stick with it. So, unfortunately, I there's nothing I can do. Hmm? Is there a help page for your router? Um, I don't know. I would imagine that there might be. But we, I mean, we can we can see if we can figure that out later. So where where are we headed? What do we what do you want to what are we gonna do? Here and I mean we still have we don't have a whole lot left to do in this area. We have given up the ghost and shrine of nocturne. Mm -hmm. And we still have <laughs> there's, the main quest. Yeah, and there's still one delve, one point of interest. Five land, I don't know what you want to call them, region bosses, ten sky shards, and seven books. Of course, the books I really don't care about. Because it's not going to, it's not going to lead you to a book. Not that I'm aware of. I've only got two. Huh? I, st I still need eight for uh, Shadow's library. <clears throat> That's not your merchant, is it? Nope. Okay. I kind of, I kind of wasn't sure. Where's the delve going to be, I wonder? Um, um, I'm thinking we might want to go to talk to Revis. Revis Demnavani for the giving up the ghost. If I had to guess, no. I'd I'd say it's probably right, uh, probably around the in the middle. There's a big area in there that's just bl you know blank of any kind of marker. But <clears throat> huh? Why does it? I don't did you think it's as blank as yours? Did you see what mine looked like in the stream? A little bit. Oops. Oh, your icons are really small. Yeah, we've been through there, though. We've, well, we've, followed, we've followed the dotted path from yeah. west to east. Well, once once we get the once we get the quest done, all we, all we gotta do is just open the zone guide, and it'll do it. It'll tell us where to go. Mm -hmm. So. 
It ain't nothing but a thing. Alright, shall we um, go and find what's his face then? What's his face? What's his face? There's a lot of markers around here. Well, the blue ones are dailies. Is that the right way? I don't know. Want to prove yourself? Not particularly. Yeah. I was gonna say, I don't want a blade of woe in. You're having a snack. Yep, I'm having. This one is having, uh, having a snack. Footwear repair recipe as my treasure. It's like. Okay. Alrighty. What? What? Did you go outside? I wonder if I can. T I bet you I can't talk to the uh, stable masters. Let me see. Character. Can I go for character? No, nope. I can't. I can't talk to him. I'm I'm stage four. Ah. I can't be any higher than stage three. Yep. I actually could do that pretty quick. I think I'm going to. Hang fire a minute. I am going to clear off a couple of vampire levels so I can uh, get me a point in. I will be right back. Okay, dope. I'm just outside the city. Alright. Alright. Yeah. Uh, there he goes. <laughs> Use the basin of loss. I don't have to use it three times, but why not? This is such a nice big house. I'm really glad I got it. What? That was weird. It was like a flash on those squares. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, it's lightning from way up there. Gotcha. Okay, that makes more sense. It just seemed really, really weird. Let's see if I have anything to deconstruct. Um, no, I'm keeping those, aren't I? Where do we want those? Uh, I am back. Oh, welcome back. Um, I, I just... I just stopped at my, uh, the couple of, uh, crafting stations I had to see if I had anything, uh, to, uh, deconstruct. I don't think there was, but I figured I'd look, I mean, I only have three stations. I don't have up everything. I think that's, that's what we did the last time we were on Mars. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure too. It looks that way. I just, Because we were you know. in the crafting area. Right. Alright, so now... Whoops, wrong button. Map. And... Blackwood. And... Uh... Yeah. Ugh. 
I finally, when I was, where am I headed? This is the outside one. It'd be quicker for me to get to you. Oh, right. Okay. I will make my way to that wish. Okay, so traveling once. Uh, I mean, you don't, we don't, I mean, are we going to take a way shrine? Or are uh, we, oh, okay. We don't need to take a way shrine. There's a, there is a way shrine close to where we're heading. Where are you going? Milk stop! I said I was coming to you. Well, why? That's why I asked. in this direction. All right. <laughs> what? What? Deadlands portal. Aww. Oh, it's gone. Aww. Oh, I'm sure we'll come across more. <clears throat> oh, after, after I uh, clocked into my ship last night, I ran, ran into one of my uh, old regular customers I hadn't seen in oh, two or three months. Uh -huh. So it was not nice to nice to visit with her again. I actually got to, you know, talk some and we uh, friended each other on, you know, on Facebook, so. Uh -huh. I've been wanting to do that for a while, but it always seemed like, you know, sometimes, you know, when you're, like, at work, when you're on the job, sometimes you just, you have, like, you know, like, if you're wanting to visit with someone to the point of, like, not getting yourself into trouble, you've got just a few seconds. Yeah. So it was really nice to have that opportunity to finally be able to at least connect on Facebook. Yeah. So that way, you know, I don't have to go four or five months now, you know, that I'm not, you know, now that we're not overnight, uh, now that we're not 24 hours. Yeah. Because, you know, now I, I only see her like every three or four months. What was that? It was the flowers no, you picked. I just picked up. It was a colored bind. Oh, okay. What's that? Ooh, a, a lion. Just, just a lion. Okay. to see where my um, vampire level is. Somewhere around five. Oh, just five. <laughs> oh, man, I just... Uh, I know it's going to take forever to get this next level. I just know it, but it's, it's the one that, that we both really, really want. Yeah. Well, actually, it's the one you want. I've got, I've got what... Uh, what I what I wanted, I just got to get it leveled up, and that's my uh, ultimate. Uh, do you want some treat? No, nope, go ahead. Yeah, so that way I can get that fifth level of vampirism and see exactly what um, stuff it take that um, you're no longer. Well, it doesn't take takes off your uh, what you call it's uh, oh, disadvantages. <laughs> beyond. It's kind of like Beyond, only it is way the hell out there. <laughs> I don't know. What's that? What was that? Oh, that's the person we want to speak to. No, you. No, I was. I thought I heard a. Um, well, we I thought can't I heard wait any longer. One of those uh, begin the evil birds. With no porters, no assistance, this endeavor's been a farce from the start, Revis. Now it's a doomed one. Yeah, this heavy sack. The master um, just pointed out for me. Sure. Rough maple. Yeah. I need mean, so, actually. I'd be so disappointed that that I let a vampire take it. Yeah, he probably would. Where is the? Uh, there we go. There. I wanted to be able to highlight the uh, quest. So I 
because I wasn't that uh, wasn't my uh, it wasn't my active one. Uh -huh. I wonder if Revis is going to remember us. I mean, the little shithead should. These two haven't dealt with Re Revis. Yeah, I know, but um, I'm, uh -oh, I mean, can, 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 the deep, I think. well, I was going to say that maybe because of um, I doubt it was because none of the others like um, Abner. You know, Abner Thar, when you see him in two or three different things, you know, separate things, he, he doesn't uh, remember you teaming up or anything like that. So I seriously doubt that if we had done the quests in um, Vardenfell uh, for him, because he, I don't remember the name of the name of the town he was in. I know it was, it, I know it wasn't Balmora, I know that. Up at the top right of the map, I think. Uh, I'm gonna talk to him now. Praise Vivek. You'll hear about the notices I posted, yes? Even if you're not, you're welcome all the same. My student and I need help with an experiment, and the situation is rather desperate. Well, really desperate. Really, truly desperate. What's this experiment? House Telvani is funding a practical test of my latest invention, the Phantasmal Sensor. It exercises spirits, ghosts, and other spectral beings near instantaneously. The unquiet dead claim countless lives each season, but no longer. What do you need Sable to do? The porters and assistants I contracted with have been waylaid in Narsis, some manner of food poison. <coughs> I'm desperate for an extra set of <coughs> hands to help with labor and preparation. <coughs> Nothing dangerous, I assure you. Thank you. Oh, I swear it was my brains if it wasn't so much. Uh, very well, this one will help. Oh, I'm so relieved you agreed to help. Before you arrived, I feared my overseers at House Telvani really might... <laughs> this one's getting cold. No matter. Tiris and I already set up a small field laboratory in the ruined Bayond. Meet us inside and we'll get started. <sighs> Can you tell Sable more about this phantasmal sensor? Uh, certainly. It's a wedding of Barrelzar's theories on the interactions of tonal and spectral forces with a resonance housing of my own design. Activating it should render any ghosts in proximity completely mute. A clever bit of engineering, I suppose. <laughs> I'm trying to wrap my head around this. Mute ghosts. <laughs> that would be something. <laughs> Can you imagine that? <laughs> ghosts trying to scare you and they're just standing, well, kind of floating there with like their mouth open. You just kind of look at them uh -huh. like. Mm -hmm. You just better hope that that's all they can do is sound because if you start making fun of them because they can't make noise, they're going to they're gonna mess you up. All right. Uh, you don't sound very excited about it. What? No, no, I'm extremely excited about it. My superiors in Telnaga called it a product of minor interest. Believe me when I say that's as robust an endorsement as I'm ever likely to earn. If the Telvani Council thinks it's worthwhile, so do I. <laughs> Tell this one about your pupil, Tiras. Tiris is a junior oath man of House Telvani. At this point in his education, he's obliged to accompany a spellwright like myself on a few field excursions. Sort of an apprenticeship. Honestly, in his case, it's just a formality. What do you mean? Tiris is an incredible talent, of the sort that only appears once in a generation. What's more, his family is extremely well-connected. He lives the Telvani creed effortlessly. I wager he'll be Arch Magister one day. What do you think of House Telvani? Really putting me on the spot, aren't you? There are aspects of Telvani culture I find abhorrent. The practice of slavery being chief among them. We do what we can. 
when the only alternative is exile, it's complicated. Whoops. Why are you conducting this experiment in VR? When you're on a mission to quiet down restless ghosts, you go where the restless ghosts are. Angry spirits pile up in these alien ruins like weevils in a hollow log. Vec only knows why. I've never taken much interest in alien history. You couldn't find restless ghosts in your homeland? In Morrowind? Ha! Huh. I wouldn't think of it. Silencing an ancestor is blasphemous, even if some of them deserve it. My aunt Cernsey can't let a visitation go by without complaining about her urn. We know you wanted purple. Get over it already, right? <laughs> Man. How hard is that? <laughs> she got her spirit bitching because her urn wasn't purple. Get her a purple urn. <laughs> All right, let's see. What cracks me up? <laughs> Taking assistance from random passers-by. The magisters of the house will most certainly have opinions on this. And I would imagine that telling a, a spirit to get over it, it was not exactly one of the smartest things to do. Ah. <laughs> huh. What are you doing way over there, Milksop? This is where we need to be. We did not wait for Go Sable. Up the stairs. Go up the stairs. Behind I you. Behind you. I, hold on. I, this one hasn't been here before. She wants to just look real quick. Just a few seconds just to see. You it never know. It's just a wall until you come up here. This one was looking for things to loot, possibly. Maybe a chest shows up. You just never know. I was trying to look at the what statue. What are you doing, Milksop? <laughs> <laughs> this was not Milksop. This one was trying to see statue. You have Milksop. <laughs> I feel Milksop you upside your head. Someone, do you want to increase the vampire level or not? <laughs> This one will take her next vampire level out of your hide. You can try. All right. Crouch <laughs> 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 down. Oops, is this, okay, this, ah, this place is small. <clears throat> One of these days, I, I, um, I mean, not for, quite a while, but I'd like to stream uh, Skyrim, how I, you know, where I have a bunch of my mods. Uh-huh. Who we'll started talking without Sable? Who was it? It was Terestresi, I think. He didn't say much of importance. Someone needs to get kicked in the butt. How did just hit that one? Ooh. 
love these bookshelves. I would love to have bookshelves like you know made like this that that I keep all my movies and stuff in. Except I they would have to have a plexiglass back because I would you know I wouldn't put stuff like right in the middle. I would push them all the way to the back. Just wondering. I took a bottle and I didn't hear anything. I'm like, wait a minute. Where's the sound for taking a bottle? All right, so I guess we're talking to Revis. All right. Finally, we can get started. There's a lot riding on this experiment's success. So, yes, let's all stay focused and diligent. And also very, very careful. What do you need this one to do? I need you to paint some stabilizing runes around the area to reinforce the sensor's magics. They're not all that elaborate, I promise. But do be mindful. I'm not leaving anything to chance this time. How does Sable paint the runes? Here are the materials in a template. I infuse the paint with ground soul gems to reinforce the rune's potency. At great personal expense, I might add. Right, Tyrus? There's no price too high for success. Try not to use it all, all right? Ground soul gems in the paint. Mm -hmm. Expensive paint. Ah, oh, I hope the soul gems were empty. <laughs> Seriously, can you? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if you break a soul gem if the soul would escape or not. But let's just say, for the for the sake of argument, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Imagine taking a soul gem with a soul inside, grinding it up into a fine powder, and adding it to paint. You would literally be painting with someone's soul. Mm -hmm. Can't imagine anybody getting pissed off about that. <laughs> it might make for an interesting painting, though. The paint, you know, the painting could be, I don't know, maybe the, I don't know, maybe the soul could, you know, cause the pigments to shift or something, or who knows. Mm -hmm. Anyways, <clears throat> let's see, uh. What will you and Tyrus do while Sable is gone? I have a few more calibrations to attend to. As for Tyrus, he'll probably, you know, observe. For educational purposes. You can speak with him if you have any other questions. Set guide you, my friend. Alright. Uh, this one will go paint the rooms. Remember, precision is of the utmost importance. So no loafing or dawdling, you! Uh, I'm sorry. We're supposed to use harsh declaratives like that to motivate people. Are you? Yeah. I can tell you're motivated. Great. That's great. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was gonna say, this one can motivate you with the edge of her dagger. The point works great for that too. Tyrus, whatever. Soul gem infused runes slathered on alien walls. The poor condition of the stone combined with imprecise template virtually guarantees a lack of efficacy. What is Revis, an amateur? What am I saying? Of course he is. Okay. <laughs> Pompous little bastard, ain't he? <laughs> Think what Revis is doing, Vilvark. Ah, finally. Someone else makes an astute observation. Congratulations. You've just become the second smartest person in the room. The runes Revis wants painted will have, at most, a negligible impact. They're essentially just expensive vandalism. Isn't Revis your teacher? Why are you talking about him like this? Ah, don't be thick. I have nothing to learn from the likes of Revis Demnavani. This is a mere formality. When I ascend to the council, I will make weeding out hedge mages like Revis my first priority. 
Do the other Telvanni mages share your low opinion of Ravis? Oh, yes. Revis knows where he stands with the Telvanni Council. On a precipice. And after today's nonsense, he will finally fall off. I want to kill this one. Mm -hmm. let, me, uh, let me rephrase that. This one wants to kill this one. Do what now? I hope we get the opportunity. Yeah. So let's see. The paint stabilizing runes, yes. Shells along the way. How far down does that go? Oh, wait. Those are steps? Oh, that is a steep staircase. Good heavens. Go up that sucker, you're gonna want to take a nap afterwards. Bookshelves. Bookshelves, yes! The song of. Two half sucker ones. What the what? You've missed two half sucker I've sunk it once. Oh! This one did. Ah. Make mother's truth. Tribes of Blackfoot. Riverbank. This one doesn't know about you, but that one, but this does not look very, you know, precise. You just splash it on there, why not? It looks okay to me. What are you doing? Decided to kill a skeleton nearby me. Ah. And it attacked me. <laughs> you, yeah, you cannot blame that one on Sable this time. No, it was it was not you. Sable has no spare in book. Or has whiskers buried in book. Alright, let's go. Long-winded scroll. Jeez. Man, that took forever. <laughs> There's another two sunken ones as well, and I'm gonna get the second. Uh, Painted. Mine looks as good as yours did.
the status to see where you are done everything. Going to try to eat someone. Don't know if not this one will be able to. Going to I don't but... think the undead are very nourishing. If it's it's worth I, well at least I could test my stealth skills. can't tell which way she's facing. It's aggravating. I think she's facing away from me. Ah! I'm dead, so, you know. Nope, they was not. They're facing forward. And I thought it was, well, I was going to say, I thought it was, I mean, I definitely didn't, uh, saw something different than what was actually there. All the lighting, different lighting and stuff, I guess. Because <clears throat> I didn't see a skeleton facing forward, you know, facing towards me. What I thought I saw was a f a female facing away from me with a long maybe auburn uh braid going down going down the center of her back that's what i thought i saw Well, it's just, you know, sometimes, you know, lighting does weird stuff. Ooh. There's an alien knight. He doesn't walk too well, does he? Yeah, I know. I'm not going to be... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do anything. I'm just going to say, they doesn't walk very well. Probably. Ah, yeah, this is Dr. Ah, welcome back. The rooms are in place, right? I'm anxious to begin the experiment. Yes, this one painted all the runes. What's next? Excellent. By the three, can I just tell you how refreshing it is to hear a voice of support? Thank you. Now, the next step is a bit more complicated. I need you to assist me with a phantasmal sensor's kindling sequence. Well, how the Sable do that? These magical pylons provide the key. Fair warning, they can be a bit unruly. But the fundamentals are sound. <clears throat> Spectral energy will pass between them freely, but sometimes the crystals dislodge. If that happens, I need you to reattune them. How does Sable Novich pylon to attune? Just pay attention to the energies flowing between them. If no spectral motes pass through one of the pylons, you'll know that's the one that needs fixing. I should warn you, if you try to attune a functional pylon, you might feel a mild shock. Thanks for the warning. This one, let's see, this one will keep her eyes on the pylons. It's nice to have a willing pair of hands to assist me. Tyrus seems well acquainted with instruments like these. He could make a real contribution if he wasn't so set on observing all the time. I wish I could convince him to help. Ah, oh, well. Let's see. Repeat. Yeah. Sometimes it's really hard to 
peak in the <laughs> third person when you've got every you've got two or three and first he's, persons. He's, he's as well. Yeah, I'm getting ready to. It's not easy. All right, let's see. Well, aren't we supposed to be helping Revis with this folly? Rinder said you know a lot about this sort of thing. Why aren't you helping? Know a lot. I barely left the cradle when I erected my first arcane pylon. But if you're asking me to assist Revis in this buffoonery, I'd sooner put trousers on a Vardvark. It's just as fruitless, but infinitely more adorable. <laughs> okay. Buffoonery, that's a word I've never heard of. I've heard of buffoon. You haven't? I've heard of the word buffoon, but not buffoonery. Alright, we're going to persuade this nudie pants. It sounds like this might be beyond your abilities after all. <laughs> I suppose that's your attempt at being clever. Very well, I'll rise to the bait. The sooner we're done with this, the better. Know this, however. I'll not employ his silly whacker hackwing methodology. Witness a true mage in action. All right, we'll see what happens. And besides, Sable made you snort, so you're not so snooty now. If you're quite finished, Revis. Hmm. An artless configuration, to be sure. Balancing the crystal resonance is simple enough. There, a perfect calibration. Much good may it do you. It's working. Just a moment more and... What? Why isn't it... Good grief! Um... I didn't even touch anything yet. Did you? Tyrus did. Oh, so I guess if we didn't, per if we well, persuade was the only option I had. Mm -hmm. Huh? Weird. Oh well. Damn it all! I triple checked the pylons last night. I field tested the rooms. I've read everything Barrelzar's ever written aside from his fetching diary, and it still doesn't work. Still. Why won't it work? It needs to work. Uh, did he do something wrong? Or is your apprentice maybe screwing this you? <laughs> no. No! You followed my instructions to the letter, and I practically killed myself proving out the theories in my laboratory back home. Literally. My eyebrows only recently grew back. It can't just be bad luck. I must have missed something. Missed something like what? Something in Bayond. Some arcane anomaly that disrupts the function of pylons. Of course, the ruin I choose to work in suffers from some heretofore unseen pylon scrambling hocus pocus. Just another day in the life of Revis Demnavani. So what can we do to fix it? Well, we need to find the source of the disturbance. Take Tyrus and explore the lower chambers. It shouldn't take him long to identify the culprit. Just make sure to keep him safe. If anything happens to him, my Kwama is well and truly cooked. <laughs> All right. Stable will help Tyrus find the source of the interference. Right. I'll stay here and inspect the instruments. Again. If I didn't find any flaws the first three times, I doubt I'll find any now. But who knows? Maybe Tyrus is right. Maybe this is just a huge waste of time. Yes, Tyrus thinks it's a waste of time, but what do you think? What do I think? What does that matter? The Telvani Council detests my work on Duematonal mechanics. They want nothing to do with my study of rare eggs. The Phantasmal Sensor is the only thing I've ever created that won their approval. Is the Telvani Council's approval really that important? Really that important? Well, of course it is. I'm a member of House Telvani, for Beck's sake. If the Council drums me out, what would I do? Who would I share my theories with? No, once that door closes, it closes forever. It's unthinkable. 
do you really think making the Phantasmal Sensor work will change their opinion of you? Absolutely. Yes. Maybe. I don't know, but I have to try. Would I rather be poking around in a dwarven ruin, unraveling the mysteries of tonal architecture? Yes, but no one ever said arcane practice always leads to excitement. All right, so search for the source of the interference. And there goes the milk subs running well, off. Let's get this pass underway. I'm going to pick him up and toss him over the vault. No one will ever know. The loud scream and the loud thud will just be coincidence. Massive we going to get to this, this cave. Tunnel. Vex head, be on your guard. What would you say about Vec? The Vec is a very good man. Trolls! Hideous savage beast! Keep that brute away from me! Excuse me, Mr. Troll, but you like to eat the dark elf? This one knows of one! Trying to get to, to eat me? You're not a dark elf, Milksop! This is true. I am dark, but not an elf. There, in the distance. More alien masonry. Finally, no more mucking around the dirt like some clumsy salt rice farmer. This one thinks someone needs attitude adjustment. This one is about to give him one. There's a strange aura on the other side of this door. Can you feel it? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you can't. This one's going to eat him. Actually, what to now be then, a knife when you eat These Vala stones are clouded. Some manner of arcane erosion. They must be the source of Revis's trouble. Destroying them in this state could generate an explosive burst of magicka, and draining their power is no small feat. Unless, of course, you happen to be me. Smash away, hero, and let's get out of this place. I am getting books. You are getting books? Okay, this one will get books. 
Then we will smashy smashy. thinking she, she probably should not eat him as sour as he is he will probably give sable tummy ache did you destroy stone destroyed one I have left two for you bookshop <laughs> Clouded Varla Stone. Mesh. Whoa, I was trying to get a little bit closer to look, look at one. It looks like they're just sitting in there. Well, couldn't you just pick it up and throw it on the ground? Instead of hitting it with an axe, of all things? Have you done the last one? I was just looking at that closer. I just smashed it. That is smashed. Serious. The interference. I think it may come from clouded... Vala stones? Indeed. The health and I already dealt with them. You're welcome. Oh, well, thank you. I... Wait. Does anyone else feel that? Intruders? Get out! Get out! A spirit? Stand back, both of you. It's time for a true test of oh. the phantasmal sensor. Ah, get it away from me! B back, you creature! I mean it! Wait, Cirrus! No! <sighs> Alright, little mammoth. We are going to have little small conversation before we talk to Remus. I noticed while the milk sap was sleeping, it looked like you were trying to eat him. Chew faster next time! <laughs> Alright, how could he take me? He's dead! Tyrus is dead! The mammoth was giving this is a catastrophe! Not what are we gonna me. do? Slow down, what just happened? I tried to use the phantasmal sensor to quiet that alien spectre, but Tyrus panicked and started to banish it with his own magic. His banishing spell mixed with the sensor's power and whoosh! Snuffed out like a candle! I'm doomed! Are you sure he's dead? He just vanished, right? Just vanished. Yeah, sure. Just vanished. To the afterlife! This is classic Revis, you know. I'm a pox. I'll just need a moment to think about what I'm going to tell the house about Tyrus and the sensor, wherever it flew off to. Zeespan will find the sensor. You take a moment. He did not look very far for it. It is just here. <sighs> All right. You're not milk sop. He is. Oh, dearest. Even now I can hear him in my mind, haunting me. <laughs> Follow his voice. Ow! Stay very, very quiet. There he is. I, I can't. Help me. Use the sensor. Dearest, he's not gone after all. Oh, more books. Again. What? More books. Oh, more books. I did 
did not read, I just looked for pictures. <laughs> Good luck. I do not think any books have pictures. That is why I get through the books so fast. <laughs> turn page, turn page, board now. <laughs> Please forgive me, Sarah. While I was wallowing in self pity, you were out here trying to clean up my mess. And by the three, Tiris still lives, or exists at any rate. What happened when you found him? He told Sable to use the Phantasmal Sensor. After I did, he disappeared. Along with the clouded Barla stones. Interesting. The sensor might have prompted some kind of endless <coughs> inversion. Ah, uh, the specifics can wait. Whatever happened, he's still aware of his surroundings. He might be able to fix this. How, how do we do that? We? No, no, no. I've done enough damage. I'll come along, offer scholarly advice and such. But you're the only person I trust to see this through. The first step is finding Tyrus. His soul seems bound to the ruin and these stones. How, so how do we find him? The clouded Bala stones are sort of thickening the magical fabric of this place. A soul like Tyrus's would cause ripples. Allow me to make a small modification to the sensor. There. If you use it now, it should illuminate Tyrus's path. You're sure you don't want to do this yourself? You created the sensor in the first place. I've proven beyond shadow of a doubt that I can't be trusted with that thing. For anyone who is not me, using the sensor is quite simple. Activate it, and a moat of spectral energy should coast toward Tyrus. Just follow the moat. Now, he is blaming himself when he said earlier, right after it happened, that Snooty McSnooty Pants tried to banish the spirit with his own magic. So it's... it's panicked. Yeah. So it's not Revis's fault at all. It's not. But yeah. Revis is a nice person. Yeah, he is. Thanks He's... himself. Yeah. Alright. What do we do when we find Tyrus? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Best to focus on navigating the ruin. I seriously doubt that Bayon's shown us all its nasty surprises. All right. Wait a minute. Is that the... Whoa. It's the sensor. Look down at the ball of light. What is your hurry? Light, the clouded light, it calls. And of course, there is blade traps. Why wouldn't there be blade traps? This one does not care. <laughs> Close. This one's tail is not two inches shorter. <laughs> Don't worry, I picked up the piece. Tyrus, and more clouded barley stones. By the three, were the aliens selling them wholesale? Uh, I'll probably regret this, but I'll try to attune the stones. You push them out of position. Maybe that will set him free. Ah! No, not enough. I know that did not look like a success, but I think I know what's happening. All right. These again. clouded Barla stones. The aliens wouldn't have carved imperfect stones in this quantity by accident. There's intention here. 
They're meant to attract spectral energy like moss to a flame. That's why we keep finding Tyrus among them. But how does that help us save Tyrus? Well, it doesn't just yet. But we're definitely on to something. The sensor can banish the stones, and my attunement spell can stabilize them long enough to dislodge them safely. We, uh, I mean you, are one step closer to fixing this. So what do we do now? You? What do you do now? Keep tracking Tyrus. I'll try to puzzle out a way to use the sensor and attunement spell to restore Tyrus's corporeal form. We have to move quickly, though. If we don't reach him soon, critical animus decay might set in. That sounds bad. That's because it is bad. Let's pick up the pace, all right? All right, let's keep searching for Tyrus. Seasprint does not see ball up like a seasprint thing, but go away. Does it wait for you? It actually does. Yeah, it does. This one did not know. It moves fast. I figured it was like, nope. If you slow down or stop, that is your problem. What was it you were saying about the size of this place earlier? That's... You said it was tiny! That was the map! It was only showing one small piece, I, I guess. Does not know. Original map is very small. I know what's going on. Oh, Tyrus is trying to resist the pull of the clouded Barla stones, but his strength is waning. Luckily, he's running into these smaller stone clusters, sort of like falling out of a tree and hitting all the branches on the way down. So where will he end up? I'm wagering there is a greater load of this clouded glass somewhere in the ruin. A stockpile or something that dwarfs these other Vala stones in size, potency, or both. Tyrus should eventually find himself there. What will happen when he reaches this load? I can't imagine it will be pleasant, but with enough of the clouded glass in one place, we might be able to create a large enough resonance to restore Tyrus's corporeal form. You using the phantasmal sensor, and me using the attunement spell. You're going to help? I have to. Without my attunement spell, the sensor could banish Tyrus for good. I can't hide from this forever. I am a mage. Hapless and clumsy, perhaps, but a mage all the same. I owe it to Tyrus, to you, and to myself to try. All right, let's find Tyrus and this load you mentioned. This plan will work, right? Of course it will work. Just follow that moat. 
You seem to be in much better spirits. Ah, 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 bad joke. I am. It might be a bit morbid, but all this dashing around and puzzle solving, it's why I love being a wizard. I've nearly forgotten that with Tyrus and House Telvanni pushing me around. We all have to follow our bliss, right? Mine's in old ruins. <sighs> all right, sends out again, and there goes the little fellow of luck going that crazy. Oh, what is that thing over over there? What is that that's that be dead? That is strange. Epaulets of Health. So many more bookshelves. <clears throat> you did not do this already? Not do anything, and my fighter skills reached the level four. Nice. Up, are you causing trouble? No, I am getting rid of the trouble. This Revis keeps screaming. This one cannot get their vampire level up if you kill everything, Milk's up. There are three here. Let's see if we are any closer. <laughs> a lot. Disease one thinks she's doubled the amount that she had. But one times two is not so much. <laughs> it is better than one times zero. Disease is true. More over here. Your bookshelves? Hmm? 
Over in the right corner. Over there. Put that way. Ah. Uh. And then when you are ready to take these three out, I will go for the other list. These one wishes there for some on here she could eat. But what are you going to do? This one forgot about doing this. See what she looks like. It will happen again. Ah! So the rank was to finish reading books. Okay. Mercy, Tyrus is fading faster. Quickly, just smash these stones and we'll hope for the best. There, now, use the sensor. We have to find the central load. Kind of neat. My book that I found. Uh, d uh, Darkest Divinities. Did uh -huh. you happen to look at that? Did you see that? I I didn't get that one. Uh, by Scald Skull Splitter. And it says, uh, "Though man and myrrh knew sin, knew sin mm -hmm. uh, since time began, the Daedric princes watch each myrrh and man." Then it says, "Azura lights the day." From dawn to dusk, Hermaeus Mora calls up memories. Her scene's wild hunt tracks blood and scent and musk. Boethia pursues conspiracies. Foul Malakath remembers every curse. Mayrun's Dagon knows destruction's wrath. Mad Shagorath hums a nonsense verse. Stern, uh, I don't Gigalag. Know. Huh? Gigalag? Gigalag. Okay. Uh, sets order on its path. Dark Molag Ball takes blood and souls and as wealth. Vermina lives in worlds that dreamers see. Though none can match unseen nocturnal stealth. O oh, hedonistic sanguine's revelry for every troubled soul that must aspire. The Daedric Prince can grant each dark desire. So I like how that how it just, you know, basically said in one little line let you know what they what the, each Daedric Prince was the prince of. 
And I just kind of thought that was kind of neat. Why don't we go and follow the light? Hold on! Hold your horses! Follow the light! Where are you going? Stay! There are things to kill. I was killing things. No, but I was talking to the ball of light, not you. I'm sure the ball of light was not going to run away. There is more to kill. Little ball of light. Bug Scion increased to rank two. Awesome sauce. That's that uh, ultimate. Light. Ooh, Emily. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm like, where did you go? There he is. Now what? Was it as a red enemy? I saw that. People just kind of pop out of anywhere. It's like, where do you come from? Pretty. It is. It is very, very pretty. Very easy. Oh, door. Aha! Ancient tomb. It's not a cluster of glass. It's an entire well. All right. Let's go over the plan. We just stand here and watch him twitch for a while. It is rather funny. It is rather fun. All right. We were looking for a pile of clouded glass, and instead, we found a limitless font of unstable magicka. Shame we have to destroy it. But let's be honest, <laughs> I would have found a way to accidentally destroy it before long. <laughs> Are you ready to save Tiris? No. I mean, yes, but the Sable need to do. First, we need to replicate the original event. Aim the Phantasmal Sensor at him and unleash its power. While you're doing that, I'll cast the Attunement spell. Weaving the two together should dislodge his animus and restore his corporeal form. How confident are you this will work? Much less confident than you'd like. I like that answer. <laughs> uh, Sable sees. If it's any consolation, most magisters aren't certain of a hypothesis until they test it. Our test just happens to have the potential for cataclysmic results. <laughs> cataclysmic results is... Are you making fun of Sable? Discharging spells and jangling magic sensors in front of an unstable well could prove explosive. But nothing is certain. Magic is more art than science. At least that's what I tell myself in situations like this. What are the chances that this goes wrong? Seven in ten? Give or take. You faced worse odds before, though. Right? Come on, hero. Let's do some heroing. <laughs> I love how he talks about the, that, like, you know, this could potentially kill us all. Mm -hmm. And it's just kind of ironic that the last thing we say before we try anything is goodbye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. We 
did it! Tyrus, are you all right? Revis! I... I... I am alive. Thank you. A.M.'s mercy, I thought I was dead. I never should have cast that. But the ghost was there and I just... just panicked. Oh, dear. Uh, there, there, Tyrus. Why don't we head back to camp, all right? <laughs> Resistant I, I'm guesses. speaking to Terras again. Ooh, that could be a good idea. That, that could be entertaining. Talk to Terra, see what it says. You! I owe you such an apology. I could see everything you and Revis did. No one, no one has ever looked out for me before. Thank you. Hmm. Well, it humbled him. He groveled. Yeah. I am happy. Seasman <laughs> will accept that apology. For now. For yes. As long as he does not backtrack into arrogance again. Yes. Because we will skin him and eat him. Ah! Ow! <laughs> Hero landing. Not so bad, but jeez! You should be used to that by now. You should be ready to land on all four paws. Fr not from that height, Milk Sub! Look at that! I'm, this one is two inches shorter because of that. <laughs> I don't know if we have read these books here. I have now. There are two bookshelves on the left. <laughs> and that mother's truth. Chill. Time to turn the ceiling fan down even further. All right. All right, let's see. Perfect. Whoa! Let's not go down like that. That would sting. She's only short enough as she is. She, she does not want to be the same size she was when she was Jacques. I'm writing the Magister straight away, Revis. You will receive accolades aplenty. Oh, that's a uh, very generous, Tyrus. Thank you. <laughs> Again. Uh, I'll be sure to mention your role in my rescue too. The death of a Tereti is I a valuable thing, again. especially one who will one day become a Magister. <laughs> Someone has apparently replenished their supplies must be the idiot. We must not have seen a uh, merchant. What is that? Ooh, coffer. All right, let's talk to Rufus. Well, 
This is unexpected. I'd resolved to spend the rest of my life in exile, but now Tyrus is singing my praises. Do you think he hit his head or something? I guess anyone can have a change of heart when they have a brush with fate like this. What happens now? Hopefully, Tyrus's testimonial will earn me some latitude with House Telvanni. Not enough to rise in rank, mind you, but enough to keep them off my back for a while. None of this would have been possible without you. Thank you, Sarah. Safe travels, my friend. And if you ever find yourself in Nysis, feel free to drop by. Nysis. That's where he's from. Uh I'm just making sure I'm not that high. There is a word missing, correct? Mary, can you see it? <laughs> uh are, are planning on going back to Morrowind yeah. soon? Yeah, it's missing a word. I'm like, wait a minute. It sounds Kashyyyk still. Yeah, it sounds Kashyyyk. Are planning on going back to Morrowind soon? As soon as I can, yes. The sensor was always a means to an end. Tyrus's letter should give me the boost I need to continue my real work. Rare eggs, dwarven machines, vegetable conjuring, all the bizarre obsessions that House Telvanni scorned. <laughs> Vegetable country? Okay. Do you think Tyrus letter will solidify your position in the house? Ha! No, no. I'm far too clumsy to evade the Telvani Council's contempt for long. But we have to treasure the time we have, right? I'm sure I'll make some really worthy discoveries before they start nosing around in my work again. All right. Ring is all about. Oh, ah, we forgot to go to um Did we forget to go to Outlaw Refuge? Because I have quite a bit of treasure. This one does not I remember. Don't have too much. This one does not remember. Killing too many people that way. So, alright, so to. Alright, what does this ring do? Oop, spell resistance. Oh, it increases maximum health by 899. Uh, hey, that's better than the maximum health. I'm, yeah, I look at it and it shows it right there on the right side of the screen. So, heck yeah. So. I might as well just. I am taking well and dress out of the rain. You're, My fur you're, is getting. Very wet. Please, cause she, what? Cause she does not smell like wet dog. This cause she does not smell like wet dog. This one said, "Good thing we don't." You got water in your but ears already. I, I could be smelling like wet cat, which is <laughs> almost as bad. I hate right. when my fur is wet. You will get over it. I right, could, I, mean. I, I could stand next to you and shake like dog and get you all wet <laughs> too. Do you not see the daggers this one has? Do I have to show you? I have tickets too. <laughs> <laughs> Not is those milk sop. 
This one. I want to. I want to know where my chat went. I want to know where it goes in between me sitting on it. <laughs> it goes in your chair pocket. It is next to your horse pocket. Oh, I see. Yes, I. I know where horse pocket is. <laughs> Okay, right. so that leaves us with Shrine of Nocturnal. Um, before Pyre of Ambition. Uh, okay. So we... uh, find Giovanni Corvus. Huh? Find Giovanni about... Corvus. In the Shrine, Shrine, of of Shrine of Nocturnal? Shrine of Nocturnal. Mine says search Blood Run Cave. Mine is showing me. Find Giovanni Corvus in the middle of Leoin. So we gotta go to Leoin. Mine says search Blood Run Cave. Hmm. I may That's have come across. Maybe I came across him. Where's Blood Run Cave? I maybe, don't know. Maybe you did. Maybe you did. I, uh, I will let me see. go to Leoin. Let me see where Blood Run Cave is. See if I can find him. Blood Run. Okay. Oh, Blood Run Cave is on the eastern island up near. Up near the Shrine of Nocturnal. Have we not been in there already? Sure. Um, I I don't I don't remember. If we have, I don't know if we've gotten that, been in there with these. We've been in Blood Run Cave. Mm -hmm. um, I will go to Leoin and find Giovanni Corvus and see what he wants. Well, this one's going to need to go there too because this one I'm needs to get traveling to the pilgrim's rest outside. So I do not want to spend the hundred and eight gold on wish right now. And I can travel for free. That makes sense. I could not eat her. There is a question here that I have not done. I see. What is it? We simply There's must do something about the business, well. brother. These chambers are much too small for our oh, wait. lifestyle. I realize that, Scipion. But the yes, has passed by the throat. What am I to do? I think I remember this. So I must pick it up, huh? Well, now. Scipion can say what he wants about this city, but you don't have strapping, smoldering-eyed strangers walk into your suites and chain and all. Alas, were I only in the mood for some distraction? Damnable Fangfurls. He's flirting with us. Fangfurls, what's that? With the Empire gone, the Fangfurls gang controls all trade in Blackwood. They're run by Pungent Adder. Every fifth coin in the region ends up in his coffers. This makes business difficult for my brother and I. Perhaps we could enlist your help? What can be done to stop them? If we had one of their business ledgers, ah! I'd have an understanding of the Fang Ferrell's operations. <coughs> Perhaps even find a weakness ripe for exploiting. If you could procure one of those ledgers for us, my brother and I would pay you half. Okay. Uh, now I have to talk to him again. 
Well, now, all right. with the Empire gone, the Fang Pearls gang controls all trade in Blackwood. They run by pungent adder. Every fifth coin in the region ends up in his coffers. This makes business difficult for my brother and I. Perhaps we could enlist your help? If we had one of their business ledgers, I'd have an understanding of the Fang Pearls' operations. Perhaps even find a weakness ripe for exploiting. If you could procure one of those ledgers for us, my brother and I would pay you handsomely. Sable will help you get one of the Fang Pearls ledgers. As long as you do not flirt with her like that again, or she will punch you in the face. If you get us a ledger, I'm certain we can put it to good use. And I have Rumor to has it the Fang Pearls have a bookkeeper. There <coughs> are drones who lives in town. I'd wager Ooh. you could find a ledger in his home. It's just around the corner, across from the bridge. So, so aggravating. At least I finally got a discussion with him over. Alright, we gotta go downstairs too. Aww. Bart has a good voice. When open wide the gates of oblivion. Just don't know what the heck she is. and then a ding, and I don't know why. Oh, 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 oh. Good. I must have gotten in close around where I was going to act like I was going to pickpocket her. She looks familiar. I think there's another... Bard that looks like oh no 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 I know who who that um that bill reminds me of that uh gal you talk that um not the um the first person you talk to when it comes for the scrying she's got okay. dark it's the same dark it's the same I think it's the same style of hair but it's definitely the same face. It felt really weird saying, she looks familiar. <laughs> I think I've met her somewhere before. Where did you go? Oh, right there. Ah, still the 
one is uh, the Undaunted. Ah! You look like you had a rough expedition, friend. But we in the Undaunted don't sign up to sit on cushions and drink mead, do we? The Undaunted? What are you talking about? Mordra can answer that better. And probably more to the point than I can. Ah. Basically, we're adventurers. Oh, you're talking to her. You look like you fit in well. You've got that fearless look about you the Undaunted are known for. Sabre will find Mordra and speak to her about the Undaunted. It's 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 another kind of like a guild. Yeah, um, we have the Undaunted quest on. Uh, I think it's on Marion Hunts in the Deep. Um, probably. All right, so you have to go outside. Looks like. They are the only ones that were. Other ones that were fighting together in Black Hole. Did we? We didn't go upstairs. We did not go snoop. We did not go up to the top floor. No. No. Are we going to the snoop? You know, and like. Uh, I suppose we can do. I'm just. What we do? I just thought that. Yeah, I just. Okay, is this one going upstairs? There you go. Let's see what's up here. <gasps> she sees food. She's for hopes. Don't sit down, food. Damn it. She's she just going to safe box. Wait. About time this one did, yes. Well, very much. Okay. Oh, yes, this one was going to open, check to open the safe, safe box. Oh, my hands just so fast it does not see. Okay. No, I'm now I'm probably only down to about, you know, 5,000. No, um, thanks. yeah. I have a spell if you need one. <laughs> well, you know, I might run out very soon. Someone thinks she has multiple personalities or something. Sometimes she talks like she's supposed to like Ajit, other times she does not talk like Ajit. That is very upsetting. Wants to eat the two people. Is there any more people to eat? Probably not. All right. Where did you go? I am on ground floor. Ground floor. All right. This one come down. Oof. Oh, wait. Don't go and talk to someone! Hey, I'm out of the way if you look for me. If you're looking for more food. 
this will just wait a for a little morsel on the corner and this will be clear. Oh, this one's getting hurt. This one's angry. Her blood is pumping. It's going to taste better now. Just wait until this one's no longer detected. And... There we go. There is the there is a red, very despondent looking Tajit red is it Tajit? No, it is Argonian. Argonian around here. And what I was out of did way. we ever do the work for hire in Leowin? What was that? No, that is the dailies. Ah Alright. What about now what um what about uh yummy lizard? Oh, there he is! Oh, yes! Oh! The, I forgot it was, it was a she. That's alright. She tasted yummy. This one is not particular. I am sending Bastion away for the time being. Kindly to me picking this lock. I'm going to see if this one can get this one or not. Oh. Don't look this way! This one can't eat you. Oh, disappointing. I give you. Wait if this one, well, this one tried to eat you, and that's crazy, lady. I am inside the road, the house. There is very there is the guard Amazon woman person there. <laughs> she was tasty. It's getting hard to see. Ah <gasps> Here's some people we haven't eaten in quite a while. This one eats farmer. Which should mean... Should mean... Because here's a lot of refuge. Where is the other one? Where is he? <gasps> there he is! Marzo tough or whatever his name was. Oh! Someone snuck around corner, took peek of Sable eating person. Now Sable has bounty. Where are, where are you at? I am in the quest house. I have completed picking up the ledger and I'm coming out. Ah. This one still has to do, has to do that. This one is by Outlaw Refuge, so this one going to sell her stuff really quick and then go and, I guess, complete her side of the quest. <laughs> what are you doing all the way up at the Steve's Refuge when you only needed to be one house at all? This one saw something tasty and went after it, and then she saw another tasty, and then she saw another tasty, and another tasty, and well, now I'm here. Or now this one is here. <coughs>
Didn't bring any heat with you, did you? Last thing we need is Brigadine's nosing around down here. All right, let's deal. Launder that one. Is there anything else? Don't want to accidentally lose something. All right. This one is not worried about merchant because she has two of her own. Oh. This one didn't clear her bounty, but that's okay. It's alright. This one's not worried. She's got nothing for the for the guards to to take. Alright, I need to find well, I would have paid the had to pay the gold at the fence anyway, so. Alright, there is the house. There is the house. Alright. That's where this one is going now. I am going to pick what I stole from him there. I did not kill him. But it's a little guard right over there. Let's see. Can we get around? Probably not. Oh, started moving. All right. Little Draft's house. They've changed the uh, durability of the uh, lockpicks. Is it? Oh, get, yeah. I I I mean in, I mean I don't know when they would have done it. Um, because I can't remember when I when I started breaking them. But yeah, normally I don't I don't break. I mean, they will break over time. You know, even if you're successful, they just you know. It's kind of like wearing out. Um, it's just one. But, um... This is not necessary. This is not necessary. Yes, you're not tasty. Okay. But yeah, I mean, I've broke... I could just compliment you. I, I am... Uh, I've used to, like... I mean, when I was playing, you know, with my main, I almost never broke a pick. I'd say maybe... Oh, no, shoot. No. I'll just say, you know, it would take a long time for one of my picks to break. And just with... Um, I get what I'm supposed to take. I guess. Yeah, I guess the it must have been on his body. Upstairs? Huh? Ledger that is upstairs? What is the stairs? What's it? Am I in the wrong house? Nope, that it is. I was going to say, there are stairs! <laughs> ah! <laughs> now I am behind barrels with chicken or whatever it is. This. A rabbit and something else. But something with feathers. Poultry. It's like duck or goose. Oh well. No, I don't really I don't really want to steal it. Let's study that again. I will be right back. Alright. Oh, is there anybody up here? Alrighty road. Uh, 
this ledger. Fear nothing. That is the feeling. Go to the happy Reno Shipping Company. I definitely need to get back to the I got an apple. It proves someone... thieves, uh, the outlaw refuge, because I forgot to pay my bounty while I was in there. him and I will munch this one. That was a weird thing to blade of woe. Where was that one that saw me? I want to see if I can if I can see. I guess it could have been that one. Now that's someone I can't do anything about. All right. The bounty this time. Just because I have treasure on me now. Try this again. Got any silver in that lot you want to sell? Got a buyer. Then again, I've got a buyer for just about anything. Alright, first things first. Something that. Get back up on your feet. Plenty of scheming going on down here, friend. We're up to our eyeballs and schemes. Speaking of schemes, let's see the fruits of yours, eh? I want, I do the selling first, just in case I happen to be right near the time where a little bit, you know, bounty drops off. It has happened to me a couple of times. I had three or four gold of my bounty disappear while I was trading with the with the fence. Don't you make those noises at me? This one will slap you. Does not listen very well. I am back. Welcome back. Hey, there you go. I had to run back to the uh, <laughs> Outlaw's Refuge. I had forgotten to pay my bounty while I was in there. Ah. Um. Well, it's ten o'clock. Do you want to keep playing, streaming, or we could end the stream and? Uh, well, the turn-in is just here. Those waking flame cultists. Right. So the turn-in is here. I they plan to attack Gideon next. After this? Whatever. Right. Lord, Gideon is barely civilized. What could they... Uh, this is the shipping company? I guess it is. It looks like a shipping company now. Did not think about it before. 
I saw some rather unsavory ruffians skulking about. Fang furs, I'm sure. Oh, they wouldn't dare approach us directly. We're safe enough, Julius. All the same, I'd rather you not venture outside without me, brother. Alright. The Fang furls continue to sniff around our skirts. If we don't move quickly, there won't be a happy Averno shipping company left to save. Did you find the ledger my brother asked about? I'd like a look. Julius has no head for sums. Here it is. Let's see. Ah, it seems the Fang furls have their thumbs in some very dirty pies. I'm not one to talk, given where my hands have been. I have an idea. If we can draw out Pungent Adder himself, we can topple him and his gang. How do we do that? By gifting Pungent Adder some umbrage. Looking at this ledger, I see two morsels dangling before us. Firstly, according to this, the Fangfurls use dead drops to issue and receive orders. If we steal those drops, we disrupt their operation. You mentioned two morsels. What's the other? We sent Pungent Adder a more personal message. It seems he has a barrel of Oleander Coast Reserve waiting at the docks. Let's say we season it with something foul. Make it as pungent as the Adder himself? How will Pungent Adder know these slights are from us? While you sabotage the dead drops and taint his wine, Julius and I will write a signed letter to make his blood boil. Then it's just a matter of combing the stinking depths of Leowen until we find someone that can put the letter in his hands. What should this one do with the orders, orders she finds in the dead drops? Hang on to them, I suppose. They might be useful to peruse after all is said and done. Find out who's worth trusting, and who's happily squirming in bed with Adder. Uh, what should these fun use to taint Pungent Adder's wine? Uh, the cask is at the docks, so I'm sure there will be something on hand. Pitch, bilge water, fish, anything will do. Just try not to get caught doing anything unseemly in public, hmm? No sense mixing business with pleasure. <laughs> now it says I'm upstanding. This one was upstanding several minutes ago. Now this one is angry. This one is angry, so she what was in here that she did not did she not run? Where did... Ah. There we go. Uh, I guess we go and we... Stay there's such steep stairs. This meal... This man is hungry. It's a someone that this one can eat. <clears throat> it is song in progress. Do not judge too harshly. Fortunately, cannot eat any keeper. This one's hidden. But I cannot pickpocket her. Why not? That's not fair. Oh well.
this one would like to eat both of you, but she does not want the bounty. So she will not. Is there anyone she can just nibble on slightly before she leaves? <gasps> oh no, those ones get us in too much trouble. Yes. One over here. Digging his own grave. How oh, sweet. Yeah. that arrow? Work? Oh, right, right. Work, work for hire and lay them. <sighs> Don't do it, milk up. It could give you bounty. I have the one on the right hand side if you want to get the one on the left. It's going to give us bounties. I do not it care though. Not. It may not. Well, Alright, you two count down. And then we do at the same time. Okay, from three and on go. Okay. Three, two, one, go. You see, we get no bounty. What? This one has 302 gold bounty for the rent. How did you get bounty? This one has bounty! You must... Oh, you must have been slow, Milksop. I think I got no bounty. You must have been slow on the kill. No, on go, I hit button. <laughs> the only way this one and would I happen... I saw you and me going to cutscene at the same time. Your meal yeah. somehow must have <laughs> seen me. I was indeed just it. I just killed them. <laughs> Maybe that is why... I did not get bounty, I died because they murdered on me. Well, this one knew she was going to get bounty anyways. Yes, she normally does. So we are headed out. We are? Aren't we? Says so, taint budget at the vine. I don't know what this is. I, I, I have a circle in. Oh, that, that is for trying to not turn on. Okay. Yes, let's see. What is that? that, that oh, yeah, see, that is a dead drop. Outside. So, yes. Hopefully there is no guard, but with this one's luck... There is no guard. <laughs> this one just realized she went all the way to her house to get rid of vampirism so she could get talk to Stable Master. Guess what this one I forgot to do? You're, <laughs> you're not able to. And there is a guard up there. On the corner of the... Of the instructions. Oh, well. Can you see the dead drops on the map? Yes. This one sees one. So far. But he's a little certain. That is... That is... This will find. Yeah, I, I see one at the island above they went and one down near the docks. Now the docks one is the wine. The taint taint uh pungent 
Adler's Vine. Adler's Vine. Yes. Okay, so we head north then. Yes, let's head north. Where did the guard go? The guard is still on the corner. No, not for me, he's not. He's in and the middle of the road. Another guard coming down the road. Right, I just saw the another road. I think scenic route. There was that weird voice again. Talking like human, not like Ajit. This one does not like that. Maybe this one needs exorcism. No, oh, better not that do that with... Me. Well, not that opportunity earlier. Mm. The last time we were playing together. I wonder what would happen if somebody actually performed exorcism on vampires. Would be interesting. That is an interesting question. I see a. This one does too. I see a river drop. Anything. It would be very weird if the throw used the hammer. Not saying that it couldn't. Just saying that it would be really weird to see. Ooh, salt gem. Take an extra percentage from the merchants in the crafting halls. These damn cultists keep messing with our operations at the docks and we need to compensate. Blackwood's merchants are all cowards, thanks Sithis. If they grew even a hint of a backbone, I doubt we'd have the muscle to keep them all in line. Wow, that's way over there. Oh, yeah. There's one. Whew. Um, so I guess we you want you just want to keep going in the stream? Um, I think we should wear shrine to these. Hmm. All right, that I mean, I don't have a problem with that. Oh, I'm jumping in the water anyway, so... Huzzah! Is there something down here? No. I thought 
thought I saw something over here when I was in the water. This one is seeing things. What is that? Ah, uh, bug dogs! And some wood, so... That worked out anyways. How about that? Branch, sturdy laurel. Huh. I got a house, a furnishing piece. Nice. Yeah. That don't happen too often. Alright. Where, where did you go? I went to my shrine. Oh. I. I can't, it, half the time I don't I it doesn't I don't see a marker like on I mean I have to get fairly close before I can see your arrow. Same here. Um, I I'm hovering over the hutan cell where she went from the top. Uh. Or the the top of the two dead drops. Uh. All right, there we go. Quantum. Yeah. yeah there's your dead drop. Yeah. Quantum. Quant. Cheese wonton cell. Way shrines. What? This dead drop. He's the closest one. Yes. I was gonna say this spot, spot right here'd be like great for a dead drop. That's, there must be some spot that's even better. Let's see. Where the hell did it go? I thought I saw the dang thing. No? Do you? Nope. There's a cabbie. Aw, he was rubbing on this bat. Oh, he's cute. You've got to be the, the you've got to be the treasure. You've got to be. You're just too cute. He's rolling around. Alright, where the where is this stupid? Arrow. Let's see. Oh, loot bag. Yeah, loot bag. Where are you? So strange. I see it. Where? Where are you? I'm just going to it now. It's uh, over here. Yeah. Yeah. I can't even see your arrow, arrow again. Oh, the... you. Oh, it's. Wow! Lies! Boy, it was. <laughs> 
break a few doors, ransack a few homes, people are starting to forget why they pay us, and it's up to us to remind them. This cult's starting to make things harder for us. More runners getting grabbed. We're already at half strength, and we can't control Blackwood if we get any weaker. Yeah, I hate it when stuff like that happens. I mean, that's a long ways. Tricks in it, Hobbit says. Okay, back to the wish shrine. This one says thanks to kill. And this one still thinks to heal. This one was going to heal, but they, then they both died. Well, now you are here. Not this one's fault. Oops, this one needs to check that. that uh, yes, the vampire. Oh, man. I this one knew this was going to take a while. It's probably... Fifteen? Twenty percent? Maybe? Long ways away. Alright. Where, where did you go this time? Ah, I'm running so... towards my shrine. Wait, wait, shrine. That's right. That's right. You little cabbies. Little... I don't... What did we say that they were? Like deer rabbits or something like that? What a debit! And Stone West's wish run is next closest. Uh, wait, where? Where was this? I didn't. Wait, is that the. Uh... Yeah, there's the dead drop. I see it. Yeah, Stone West. Yep. Stone West, this is. And then. Where'd that hack thing come from? It was mm. close by. That just fit soul gem. <laughs> Here's Peter. <laughs> See, from here there's more hack wings. There it is. Echoing's everywhere. Yep. Oh, faked us out. Ultimate just filled finally. So I need to use it. I'll use it all on it. Ew! 
Thank you, Purdy. Yep. This one ended up in the water and she couldn't eat it. Alright, first where there's arrow. Wow! Just kind of out of nowhere. And it was stood right next to water hyacinth. Oh, I didn't see it. My little arrows. Oh. Ah. Ah! Second dead drop. Where is the supply caravan we were expecting got held up at Order Watch? Need to find another way to get uh, the product in. Let's squeeze the dock workers. Find one with a family to make their cooperation easier. Those peculiar brothers in Leowin are raising too many flags. Competition is something we absolutely do not need here. If we don't make an example of them, soon others may follow suit. So now we have to go... Ooh, we have to go taint his wine. So let's see. Um, and that's probably a long ways away. Where the hell is it? Oh, yeah, but it's in, in Leowin. Back outside Leowin. Heading so. to the West Shrine. Uh, what about the Pilgrim's Rest? Put this. Yep. This one is on the way. This one has to remember she still has bounty. She must be careful. This one will crouch. Must make sure that a certain milk sap does not sell her out. God. <laughs> Coming your way. Oh, 
Oh. Hmm? I now have to follow Giovanni. Okay. I can't interact with him. There's nobody there for me. I can't interact with him. Really? Um, Oh, okay. I have to follow him discreetly. Ah. Uh. Backward guard and hide if you're following me. <laughs> right. Would you care to help a friend receive a blessing? And now I have to witness a secret meeting. I don't have to, but I can. Shrine of Nocturnal. Huh? Shrine of Nocturnal is the quest. Oh. Mine says search blood run cave. Right, so okay. You, yeah, I'll go in there. I'm either be... ahead of you or way you're behind. behind. Um, I wouldn't say, I don't think you're way behind. Because remember, we play these two. We play these two together. Just listening so. to combo. Okay. Okay, so now I'm, I'm, I'm up to searching Bloodrun Cave. So I'll switch back out to the other quest. You're gonna switch out to what quest? Making a racket. Racket? Making a racket! Um... Tenting the pun... Tenting the pungent adder's wine. Ah! You, um, I guess we're How's still gonna stream. Uh, yeah. I still have one. Okay, there is a guard coming this way. Should 
down to guard. Let me go through first. I remember this is guards out here. There's probably just, at least uh, one. Just said, let me go through here first, and then I can warn you. Like, oh, I thought you said for me to go first. No, I'm you're the one who's got you. the bounty. You could have been setting me up again. Sell me out. If I was setting you up, I would say you go first. I think you did. This work isn't going to do itself. Okay, you need to pick something up to take to the battle with. Do what now? You need to pick something up with which to take to the battle. There is oh. a dead fish. There is uh, a dead fish down here. There was a dead there's fish a down here. There's a simple chest. Okay. Let's see. What do you want to do? A rotten fish. Oh, yes. That will be perfect. Warm to the touch. It splashes the consistency of whipped egg. <laughs> oh, yeah. wonderful. And the barrel is just up here. Did you say the battle? Barrel. Oh, I thought you said battle. I was going to say, what battle? Battle. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Not battle. <laughs> battle. Ooh, look at that. He's pungent now. He's stinky. Is this one of Anders? Is this one somewhere? Is this one going to eat? Maybe not. Nope, she's someone you can, you can talk to. Hey, you wanted to call it here then? Um. Now that we've done those those bits of, of the quest. Yeah, we can. I don't know where it'll go from there on. So um. To go back and talk to the brothers again. Because no, we probably, th probably lead on further from there. I'm, I'm sure it will. Um, I'm actually going to go s s stand up here since I have the okay. bounty still. But Just in case there's. Out. Huh? You will be looking out. Oh, right, 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 right. I forgot about that part. <laughs> I forgot about and, that. And then we are here and ready to walk in when your bounty has, has been reduced to nil. Right, alright, so yeah, we're logging out. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I, I forgot about that part. <laughs> I will say bye bye now because I need to just disappear for two minutes. Alrighty, alright, well then, and thank then, you. And then, uh, then I'll be back, obviously, to. Alright, well then I, then I will say thank you, Mary, for another stream. It's great yeah. fun as always. It's fun playing with kitty cats. Yes. And before I go, I'm going to put it back onto emote only chat. Okay. Best way of of avoiding um, trouble if the um, if the bots decide to follow and decide to try and attack, they mm. can't do anything with just emotes. Right. All right. So, well, I don't know if this if they're still on with that, but apparently it was. Um, they were attacking quite heavily last weekend.
Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. No, I, I, I had, never heard. I had I had messages pinging all over various Discord channels to warn streamers. Hmm. Which is why I came on and, and made sure it was it was on immortal only chat for you. Ah. Uh, Must be I do, chat, I do appreciate that. Stream. Yeah, yeah, we just I right. just made safe decide just not to stream. Yeah. Um, because apparently if they if a bot attacks you and you're off stream, Twitch still say you're the responsible party for keeping for looking after your channel, so I looked after your channel for it for only. Thank you. Right. Bye bye right. for now, everybody. And I'm probably we'll see you next time. Yes, tomorrow. I will be back with you, Graham, shortly. All right. Yep, I will sign Bye. off here, and then I'm going to go get something to eat, because I have not eaten yet. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. All right. All right. All right, folks. Well, like Sam, um, thank you for, you know, for being here. Um, I hope you had a good time. Mary and I always really seem to enjoy the most right now playing our kitty cats. Um, especially since, you know, we do it talking Kajidi or, you know, with their accent, <laughs> but anyways, so, um, that's going to do it, uh, for now. So, um, join us, uh, tomorrow, same time. And, uh, Mary and I will be here again to play the kitty cats. Um, cause like I said, you know, that's. That's all, all we're going to be doing until she hits level six and in her uh, vampire skill. Because, you know, she wants me to ma uh, make somebody, one of her other characters a vampire. So it's going to be just the kitty cats until we get it done. And we play off stream t um, as well to try to get her to hit level six as quickly as possible. Which I'm sure you could tell when you're like, wait a minute. I missed something. Yeah, you did. You missed something. So that's what we're doing. So, but anyways, like I said, that's going to do it, folks. Thank you for being here, and I will see you tomorrow. Um, so have a great day. Take care. Love you guys, and see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs>